guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today I'm gonna to be telling you guys how to improve your minecraft pvp skills and how I got better at pvp so if you guys do enjoy this video make sure to like and subscribe don't forget to turn on notifications if you are new to my channel and you want to see more content like this and also don't forget to join my discord server down in the description below I'm about to do a giveaway make sure to enjoy the video okay so first we're gonna be a munch MC for the first part of this video so for this part of this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys the most important part of pvp and that's gonna be clicking an aiming for a lot of you guys that really think about it aiming in minecraft is one of the most important thing like, to it if you can't aim then cps doesn't matter you can get 1000 cps it doesn't matter you get 100 10 30 it doesn't matter if you can't hit them what's the point of clicking so in order to be able to get a nice cps is try to go in, like on a kit pvp server or a server where there's like a lot of pvp around you or maybe go to a practice server like lunar or miming club whenever i was done fighting someone or mid fight i'd tell them to wait or i'd say hold on i'm customizing my sensitivity or something and i just keep upping and lowering it if you can't like concentrate on one block and keep your cursor on it then your sensitivity is most likely too high and a lot of people don't really teach you that if your sensitivity is too high then obviously you're not going to be able to pvp correctly or someone would tell you to lower your sensitivity but not mess with your dpi and dpi does also mean your mouse sensitivity if your dpi is too high and your sensitivity is too high you're probably going to be aiming way too fast if your dpi is too low and your sensitivity is too low then obviously you're not going to be able to look around because your sensitivity is going to be way too slow and so just make sure to just go around and find your person sensitivity or enough to where you can actually get a kill or two and then just keep practicing off of that one kill as i said i recommend a kit pvp server or a practice server not really a mini game server because there's not that many good people around there and you want to at least fight someone that is used to pvping that is actually somewhat good if you have a challenge you're going to get better while practice you're going to have a challenge it's going to be harder for you of course with challenges you see that you get better or you get worse i don't know what to tell you dude but that's pretty much it whenever it comes to aiming and sensitivity make sure to figure all that out yeah that's pretty much the first part and onwards to the second part. all right so for the second part i'm going to be teaching you guys how i do to click and butterfly click now obviously i do not have a hand cam so i can't teach you in the sense of showing you guys how i click fast but i will tell you guys how I got as good as I did and how I can click how I click now where I get to about 1 CPS to about 20 CPS so yeah let's get right into it and the first thing that I did whenever I first started PvPing was I positioned my finger in a claw position and I just started trying to click as fast as I can now one thing is a lot of people's gonna start being you're gonna give up because you're gonna get like a very slow CPS at start whenever I first started jitter clicking I got around like 4 to like 5 CPS like it wasn't fast at all and it all happened like within time just like one day i like woke up and it was like a week or two after me just constantly clicking in a claw position and one day i was just able to click like eight cps and it just kept going from like eight and then nine and then 10 to 11 to now 12. so like even though it's hard right now you shouldn't really give up just keep just keep clicking because i'm pretty sure jitter clicking has more to do with muscle memory and once you just get it down it's not really you're not gonna really forget it i like i quit minecraft for like almost a year and i came back and i can still jitter click so you're not it's not something that you're gonna forget like once you get it down it's pretty much there and it's not very hard to do oh i wish like he had quick drop so then i can just go on to like butterfly clicking but like he's pretty good so all right so i didn't totally throw the mat so then i can go and teach you guys how to butterfly click so one way that i learned to butterfly click was from my friend called fancy he what used to be an hcf youtuber but i'm pretty sure he quit now and he stopped making videos or he probably came back i'm not sure i don't really talk to him anymore unfortunately but he used to butterfly click and he told me to just pretty much practice like i like jitter clicking where i moved my fingers into a claw position and just started moving my finger and pretty much like after a while i couldn't get it like it took me like more than because my mouse that i had wasn't really good for butterfly clicking but after i got the glorious motto o butterfly clicking became very easy i instantly was able to do it and since I lowered my, my debounce time down like by a lot, my debounce time is like 4ms to like almost zero. I'm not sure. I haven't looked at it in a while, but, and this guy's pretty good and I haven't been on. So yeah, <laughs> I don't know guys. I'm sorry. I just haven't been on so long. Now let's go on to the next part. 
Okay, so now we're going to be playing on Miming Club, and one thing I want to say on Miming Club is I'm not really sure how their knockback is. I haven't really played it that much, but I did a media rank on here, which is really nice. I, what we're going to be talking about is strafing. Strafing is whenever you do W, A, S, D, W tapping and all that stuff like that. A lot of you guys don't really know how to do it because it's very complicated for you guys, but I'm going to be teaching you guys here. So sit back, relax, and learn how to PvP with your favorite PvP teacher. One way I like to do it is after I like to just practice W tapping first. So what I do is I run in and after every single time I hit him, I tap W and it resets my sprint. But obviously that's not really fast enough. So another way I learned how to W tap was I just like W tap it every single time I get a hit. Um, not every single time I do it, but like I did notice whenever I W tap W, I got a lot more combos in and they took a lot more knockback whenever I W tapped it then single tapped it so if you guys do want to just make sure if you get your extra hit in just W tap W whenever you get your first hit and sometimes you're gonna be able to get a W okay oh wow okay that was a little bit slow it's a little bit embarrassing for a PvP tutorial huh <laughs> but yeah this is just me W tapping R and not R but W and he quick dropped another one of my favorite ways to strafe is by by typing is by typing A and D at the same time whenever I'm PvPing. So A brings me to the left and D brings me to the right. And one way to be able to confuse your opponent whenever you're fighting him, I don't know what he's doing, but like uh, one way to confuse his fighting and make it so you combo him a lot more is by strafing left to right. It makes it harder for him to hit you and it just makes it easier for you as a whole i mean obviously if you don't know how to aim then this is not going to be very useful to you because you're probably going to be hitting air the whole entire time instead of the actual player no offense but like i mean aiming is very important if you can't aim then none of this matters i mean you should just turn off the video now and let's get the practicing but um pretty much that's that's pretty much it whenever it comes to strafing you can also s tap too i showed this in like in another video but pretty much whenever i tap s is like after every single time i hear the hit sound i tap s and he gets stuck in an s tap and it sucks for him because he can't really do anything about it i think he thought that he pearled oh he did okay but yeah, that was pretty much S tapping and that was W tapping. So we're just gonna keep fighting him as I show off. Just make sure, just keep your eye on my keystrokes because just make sure to keep an eye on my keystrokes so you can see how I'm comboing him and how I'm actually managing to get these types of combos. As you can see, I don't just hold W. I just die there. It's a little bit embarrassing, but I'm pretty sure I was winning the whole entire time. Yeah, okay. I had 10 more pots in them. That's that's enough, guys. All right? That's enough. It's enough, even though I died in my own tutorial. <laughs> if you guys did enjoy that video, make sure to like and subscribe. And you guys all have a